Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Don Elohim, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Don Elohim, you see the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people of Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, Elohim, you king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to light you may be kind to you. May Adonai bless a favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Mark 4, 35 through 5, 43. On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. And the other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? They woke and abuked the winds and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was great calm. And he said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear, and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? They came to the other side of the sea, to the country, country of... Gerasenes. And when Yeshua had stepped out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tomb, a man with an unclean spirit. He lived among the tombs, and no one could bind him any more, not even with a chain. For he had often been bound with shackles and chains, but he wrenched the chains apart, and he broke the shackles into pieces. No one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day, among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always crying and out and cutting himself with stones. And when he saw Yeshua from afar, he ran and fell down before him, and crying out with a loud voice, he said, What have you to do with me, Yeshua, son of the Most High God? I drew you by God, do not torment me. For he was saying to them, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. And Yeshua asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he begged them earnestly not to send them out to the country. Now a great herd of pigs was feeding on the hillside. And they begged him, saying, Send us to the pigs. Let us enter them. So he gave them permission. And the unclean spirits came out and entered the pigs. And the herd, numbering about two thousand, rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned in the sea. The herdsmen fled and told it in the city and in the country, and the people came to see what it was that had happened. And they came to Yeshua and saw the demon-possessed man, the one who had the legion, sitting there, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it described to them what had happened to the demon-possessed man and to the And they began to beg Yeshua to depart from their region. And he was getting into the boat. The man who had been possessed with demons begged him that he might be with him. And he did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends, and tell them how much the Lord has done for you, and how he has had mercy on you. And he went away and began to proclaim in a Decapolis how much Yeshua had done for him. And everyone marveled. And when Yeshua had crossed again in the boat, to the other side a great crowd gathered about him, and he was beside the sea. They came out of the, one of the ruler's synagogues, Jairus by name. And seeing him, he fell at his feet and implored him earnestly, saying, My little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, so that she may be well, made well and alive. And he went with him. And a great crowd followed him and thronged about him. And there was a woman who had a discharge of blood for twelve years, and who had suffered much under many physicians, <coughs> and had spent all that she had, and was no better, but rather grew, grew worse. She had heard the reports about Yeshua, and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his garment, for she said, If I e touch even his garments, I will be made well. And immediately the flood of blood dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of disease. And Yeshua, 
perceiving in himself that power had gone out from him, immediately turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her daughter, Your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. While he was still speaking, there came from the ruler's house some who said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But overhearing what they said, Yeshua said to the ruler in the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. And he allowed no one to follow him except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. They came to the house of the ruler in the synagogue, and Yeshua saw a commotion and people weeping and wailing loudly. And when he had entered, he said to them, Why are you making commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him, but he put them all outside and took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in to where the child was. Taking her by the hand, he said to her, Talitha Kumi, which means little girl, I say to you, arise. And immediately the girl got up and began walking, for she was twelve years of age. And they were immediately overcome with amazement. And he strictly charged them, that no one should know this, and told them to give her something to eat. Blessed are thou, Don Elohim, you king of the universe, who gives the Torah of truth and the everlasting life in our midst. Blessed are thou, Don I give the Torah. Brukuta, Don Elohim, Malak Alom, Ashna Talu, Tordeh Met Vaishay Alom, Natapa Tikin, Brukuta, Don I, Tina Torah.